What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sebs, where I do all my reactions from my treadmill. Honestly, just because I don't have more time during the rest of the day. And I guess it's good for you. So, on the, working on the channel, that's how I discovered Bo Burnham. Actually, thanks to all of you all. I had a live stream a while back, a while back ago, and uh, the folks who joined me asked me to check him out. And I've been loving it, man. Uh, we've checked out a lot of his stuff from the, his new special, but I've also checked out Bo Burnham's early stuff, and it's crazy to see how he's grown up. Very curious. This popped up in my feed. It's Bo Burnham's stand-up on Conan on November 30, 2010. So I'm just curious of what him doing stand-up was like. I haven't seen that yet. I, I wonder if he's going to bring some of his musical, musical comedy into it. Uh, again, I think he is... Yeah, one of the more genius comedians, musical comedians I've seen, man. I mean, it's really unique what he does. And what I've loved from the stuff from his new special, especially, um, is, one, just how good the music is, actually. That it, And then also that it's just funny. And a lot of it is deep, way deeper than I expected. So I love that. And I love when comedians do that, man. I think comedians have a lot to teach us. I agree with the notion and the thought that perhaps comedians are some of the most important people in society. They wake us up from some of that, those egotistical ideologies that just go a little crazy, right? So I, 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 love, I love comedy and I love comics. I've been really enjoying Bo Burnham. So interested in checking it out. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Honestly, you just being here and watching supports the channel more than anything. Same with, please consider hitting like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing. If you don't like the walking, man, that's just what I do here on the channel. So if you don't like it, hey, it is what it is. No hard feelings here. And also, if you want to take it to another level, you can donate to the channel down below or join the Patreon channel. So anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's see what this is like. Thank you so much. What an honor. Uh, Sweet, we have the piano. My okay. ex-girlfriend had a really weird fetish. Uh, she used to like to dress up as herself and then act like a raging bitch all the time. <laughs> that was good. Come in hot. Hey guys, like impressions? In like impressions? I like impressions. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Thank you. That was uh, that was Socrates. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he's good, dude. Guys, I'm a realist. <laughs> I try not to romanticize reality. You know, like when life gives you lemons, honestly, you found lemons. When life gets you down, you know, make a comforter. But at the same time, I don't deny the beauty in the world, guys, because there's so much beauty, because life, life can be so symmetrical that gives birth to this almost silent poetry, you know, like a hermaphrodite playing the guitar, or a young <laughs> Amish boy trying to blow out the light bulbs on his birthday cake, or, or a girl who's terrible at grammar saying, Mama, you raised me good, and then being pushed on a well. Guys, <laughs> People complain about my show, they think uh, I act too theatrical or flamboyant, and that makes me so angry. Yeah. Um, That's great, dude. I love it when people lean into the, the crap that people, people tell them. Just, how old is he here? 2010? Still probably really young, eh? You can actually hear his nerves. But who cares? He's getting after it, and look where he's at now. But you can like hear it, right? Who wouldn't be? You're on live TV. You're on Conan. <laughs> Your mama's so fat. Your mama's so ugly. Your mama's so stupid. Your mother's breasts sag with such severity that the late great surrealist artist Salvador Dali mistook them for clocks. Guys, I uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, we've done a lot of laughing, which I can't thank you enough for, but we haven't done a lot, there's a lot of thinking. I'd like to do that right now, and what better to stop Let's go. comic inertia, a little bit of poetic friction. I've written some haikus. Haikus are Japanese poems, consisting of 17 syllables, three lines, five, seven, wow. five. And I find them to have a certain clearness in their cogency, sort of a uh, soundness in their simplicity, if you will. So we'll do right now. Sorry, my mind went there, and I just wanted to say, you guys have played Gozo Tsushima, right? Whenever you have to do one of the haikus in that game, by the way, it's like some of the most relaxing, soothing things of all time. But all right, let's see what he's got. Now, hopefully, is I read these haikus, think for a bit, and then we'll go back to the jokes and they'll have benefited. So uh, can I get some uh, mood lighting, please? Just perfect. Nope. Uh... <laughs> Ew. Nice. 
<laughs> all right, uh, so get the giggles out, and uh, these are my haikus. <sighs> my aunt used to say, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> she died in a fire. <laughs> nice. Old people Get skin it because sags was... because it is being pulled towards the underworld. Sorry, I started talking through. What do you say? <laughs> Old people skin sags because it is being pulled towards the underworld. <laughs> the pages are blank. <laughs> Those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones or masturbate in the daytime. That's true. It's true. For 15 cents a day, you can feed an African. They eat pennies. I and always finally, have to... Bono, oh, yeah. if you want to help poor people, sell your tinted shades, you tool. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I believe in the Zodiac. You know, I'm a Leo. I loved Inception. But this is something a little bit, uh, a little bit morbidly ironic. My grandmother, she was a cancer. And she was actually killed by a giant crab. Great job. Swallowed some beer. Wait. This is a song about the idea of irony, so strap in. My dog's stomach was very upset, so I put him in the car and we went to the vet. And on our way to the vet, I killed a cat. Yes, it is. Isn't that ironic? I adopted a child from overseas to rescue him from child labor factories. And on his very first birthday, we went to build a bear workshop. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that I R O N I C I N O R I R O N I C? Yes, in a water park. It actually, that actually is ironic. Alanis Morissette. Your song isn't even ironic. Isn't that isn't that ironic actually? Yeah. N O R I R O N I C. Yes, and a water park is burned to the ground, and a tow truck has broken down. I always used to cry when I laughed, and then I was raped by a clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic, right? I was watching Al Gore on CNN. He was talking about the environment, and then out of boredom, my pet polar bear shot himself. Oh, <laughs> ironic. Yeah. I dated an animal rights activist. One day she got really pissed because I was eating veal that was wrapped in pita bread. Pita. <laughs> oh, yes, it is an I R O N I C I. sit and slouch and I got my girlfriend pregnant on my sterile uncle's pull out couch <laughs> I love that one that was genius get it pull out couch I R O N I C. yes and a Bob Barker got all of my And one day we were. Thanks. <laughs> he just stops there. <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Vernon, everybody. Did Homie just have a beard? I've never seen him with a beard. All right, word. That was great. Um, that was great. I'm by the way, I'm very easily amused, so if I laughed a little too hard at a joke for you, hey, sorry. When things are clever, I get a nice uh nice kick out of that. I was about to quote Arnold Schwarzenegger from Pumping Iron, but that you know what part I'm talking about? You know that every time he lives it feels like he okay. But that's not true and that would have been I would have taken that too far. All right, guys.
I'm a big fan of Bo Burnham. Really big fan. Um, I am adding inside, right? Just into my gym playlist. I didn't expect it to actually be as good as like, it's just good music, man. Keep it real, guys. Comment down below your thoughts, your reactions to this, and any suggestions you would have. Keep it real, y'all. Peace out.